It's X-Play. We're back with Sonic, the blue hedgehog and Sega mascot who still reminds us of an era when Sega was putting out games that people actually bought. Hmm, harsh, but true. So what's the little spiky guy up to this time? Why, a DS game, of course. And it may bring back a little of Sega's past glory. Yes, the small mammal, who is clearly jacked up on amphetamines, is running laps around Nintendo's handheld, and we couldn't be happier. Well, actually, we could be happier, but yeah. it would involve a truck full of money, chocolate, and the love of a parent who never acknowledged me. Have you told your therapist that? Yes. Well, here's our review of Sonic Rush for the Nintendo DS. Let's do it! Much like the bad guys from Superman 2, Sonic the Hedgehog has returned to the second dimension. Sonic Rush for the Nintendo DS is out to make you forget about this furball's terrible 3D adventure games. This time, the action is split between the system's two screens, so if you fall from the top window, you'll land safely on the bottom one. The only downside to the dual-screen gameplay is that when you travel between them, there's always a split second when you can't see Sonic. It may not sound like it's a big deal, but at speeds this fast, it can really throw you for a loop. Fortunately, the gameplay is classic Sonic with slides, bumpers, and of course, loop-de-loop. -loop. Plus, the game's inventive boss battles sport a clever mix of two-dimensional controls and 3D camera angles. You regret it. The plot won't be bringing home any Pulitzers. In Sonic Rush, the evil Eggman is back. Again. Like usual, he's out to steal the Chaos Emeralds and perpetrate some generic world domination. You regret it. Just us, or is he getting a little repetitive in his old age? All right, we get it. We're gonna regret this. As usual, you're assisted by your friend Tails, and boy, is he happy to see you. All right, Sonic's here. Almost too happy. Yes, yes, yes. And you guys need some time apart. Do your best, Sonic. Sonic Rush features a nifty dash attack that adds some strategy. So you can't just hold down the right button the whole time. Plus, the game introduces a brand new playable character, Blaze the Cat. This sassy purple-haired feline is actually a queen from an alternate universe, and she's out to snag your emeralds. The ability to control a second character definitely adds some replay value. But her moves are so similar to Sonic's, you may find yourself suffering from deja vu. Man, does this game have a funky soundtrack or what? Can I buy this on iTunes? Despite our very minor complaints, the high-speed action and classic gameplay finally brings this series back to its 16-bit glory days. Sonic Rush grabs a four out of five. Another solid DS game in a long line of solid DS games. And if you'd like to see reviews of other DS games or our Xbox 360 reviews, you can download video podcasts of them for free at g4tv.com or iTunes. And you know, you don't even need a video iPod. You can watch any of our reviews or special segments like the X-Play Board song or Zombie Outtakes. You can watch it on your computer. What's a computer?